even with the wind behind. If you like the retro look and don't plan to do many miles, then the Jet Set is the one for you. Next for the test, the great-looking Gilera DNA. Everywhere we went, this controversial hybrid turned heads. But is it really a scooter? Many might think that we shouldn't feature it here. It's a twist and go like most scooters after all, but it couldn't really look much more different than, say, a traditional Vespa. This is the Baby 50cc restricted model. It might look and sound fast, but it's frustratingly slow even on downhill stretches. Thankfully, the DNA does come with quicker engine options. We'd recommend the 180cc if you want to look the part and keep up with traffic. Despite the 50cc version being slow, no one could deny that the DNA looks incredible. Surely any youngster desperate to get mobile wouldn't be able to resist this beautifully designed scooter stroke moped. Get the right clothing and you could fool your mates that you're a potential MotoGP world champion. So if Valentino Rossi is your hero, this is the scooter for you. Piaggio produce a more traditional looking sporty scooter in the shape of the NRG, which has received rave reviews since it arrived on the scene. Like most of the 50cc machines on the market, it goes like stink when fully de-restricted. It's incredibly popular among teenagers all around the world, mainly because it looks cool and doesn't cost the earth. For cheap street cred, you could do a lot worse than getting your paws on an NRG. If you're into scooters though, you just have to consider something really traditional. Even if you don't buy a PX Vespa, it's worth booking a test ride just for the fun of it and to find out what all the fuss is about. It's a totally different riding experience to all the others we've seen so far, with its twist grip gear change and foot on the floor braking. These days though, they're a lot easier to handle than the basic first models with a decent disc brake on the front and a powerful halogen headlight if you find yourself out late. The 125cc engine is nimble enough for short distance commuting, but if you do fancy something quicker which still has the classic lines, we'd recommend the new Vespa Gran Turismo, which is a twist and go but still capable of over 80 miles an hour. The classic lines of the PX appeal to all backgrounds from mods to Vickers. No one could deny that this scooter will always be loved. The final machine that we'll take a look at is something very special. The Beverly 500 or B500 is a groundbreaking model from Piaggio, the first high wheel GT scooter ever seen in the UK. It's a true maxi scooter with 16 inch wheels and a single cylinder four stroke 500cc engine. It's one of the first scooters that can do over 100 miles an hour. When it does reach the ton, it doesn't take much to bring it to a halt again, thanks to the double discs on the big front wheel. Since its launch, the B500 is proving to be a popular performer. It's fun to ride, practical and reliable. This type of big scooter just has to be ridden to be appreciated. It's just as much at home on motorways as in cities. Well, that's just a small selection of scooters currently around. To help you make your mind up, buy the scooter magazines and chat to your local bike dealer. 
there's a scooter for everyone out there somewhere. Every year in the UK, the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham hosts one of the biggest displays of new motorbikes and scooters in the world. There's the usual girly distractions on show, as well as plenty of other sideshows to keep the thousands of visitors entertained. But surely most people don't come to the NEC to gawp at superbikes and half The star attraction on the Peugeot stand was undoubtedly their latest model, the Jet Force Compressor. At first sight, it looks just like a restyled speed fight. On closer inspection, though, it's a totally different beast altogether. Peugeot call it a hyper sport machine, endowed with extremely high performance motorization, a chassis on a par with the finest sports bikes, and a groundbreaking design. I think that means it handles well and goes like stink. There's no denying, it does look stunning. The name Jet Force Compressor says it all though. This is the first ever production scooter fitted with a supercharger. The 125cc engine delivers 16 brake horsepower with even bigger engines planned. It promises to be one of the scooters to be seen on. As you might expect, Piaggio are out in force with their full range of latest machines on show. sister company Gilera is showing off the new Nexus. Later in the programme we'll see them being put together at the Piaggio factory in Italy. Now that they've once more become hip and trendy, famous names in the motorcycle world like Yamaha and Honda have hopped onto the scooter bandwagon and are showing off their mini-wheeled marvels alongside their big bikes. Not only can you pick up the latest edition of your favourite scooter magazine, you can even get yourself fully kitted up for the road at knockdown prices.
the show can be an exhausting day out. But even the girls know which form of two-wheel transport appeals to them best. Scoops are sexy. And just in case you missed it the first time... Scooters are sexy. Well, I'm sure Enrico Piaggio and Corradino de Scanio felt the same way when the first scooter rolled off the production line all those years ago. There's just time to take a look at one more bike which might be a scooter. It's difficult to tell. This is the wonderfully named Sax Madass, a cross between a pedal bike, a Harley Chopper and, well, a scooter. It has a 50cc engine, does a restricted 45 miles an hour and looks totally bonkers if you ask me. It'll probably be next year's big thing, so place your order now. countries such as the UK, getting around on a scooter is still looked on as something of a novelty. That's certainly not the case in the Italian city of Florence. There are more scooters on the streets there than anywhere else in the world. Welcome to the biggest scooter park in Italy. There's five million of the little things in Florence. You can't move without tripping over one. Here you're brought up with the sound and smell of scooter exhaust all around you. It's just expected that you'll be riding one the day you're old enough to. And it works. There's no parking problem and the traffic flows. People get to where they want to, when they want to. Florence just wouldn't be the same without its scooters. If you travel 35 miles out of Florence towards Pisa, into the heart of northwest Tuscany, you'll come to the small town of Pontedera, the home of Piaggio. A display of the current Piaggio models takes centre stage in the middle of a huge and impressive factory. It's hard to believe, but at the Pontedera plant, the workers build over half a million scooters every year. 
That's an amazing 2,000 units each day. The main production line at the moment is churning out the very latest Gelera model, the Nexus, an entirely new breed of scooter. With a 500cc engine generating over 40 bhp, it's the most powerful and sporty machine ever built. The Nexus is bristling with all the very latest technology, a linked braking system, an innovative shock absorber system, a two-way catalytic converter, the list is endless. Every single machine is tested on a rolling road before it's cleared for sale.